everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Good timing. Looks like Old Faithful's just now starting to go off. It's a little dirty throughout the uh, Upper Geyser Basin. And, yeah, look at the snow. I'm supposed to get snow here where I'm at probably tonight in South Dakota. Yeah, and they probably got it there last night. Look at that. Yeah, that's a very large geyser. Uh, there's been 14 earthquakes within the last 24 hours within the Yellowstone um, seismic zone, I guess you can say. Um, two of them are fairly significant. One was along the Grand Teton fault zone and the other one along the Snake River Plateau. Nice, clear, crisp picture, isn't that? Yeah, so I don't know if it's going to be a long eruption or a short eruption. I hope the camera stopped there for a minute. Yep, winter's coming early. I hope everyone's prepared. Yeah, look at that. Actually see the color of some of the larger rocks or, yeah, that were shot out by Old Faithful in the past. Yeah, nice color. I believe this is probably the first snow of the season for the Yellowstone area. Well, it looks like it's going to be a short eruption. Yeah, they gauge the timing by how long it erupts, how much water comes out by the time. And, uh, yeah, this looks like it might be a short eruption. So I downloaded uh, four different monitors. Boy, it's getting active there. There's been several um, magnitude 2s, actually a little bit higher there. And they always said when they start having 2s, that's when they're going to get a little worried. Yeah. Like I said, it's a little dirty. We'll check back here in a minute and see what some of the other um, hot pools, springs, what um, that moisture looks like coming up. So here's the four monitors that I downloaded. This is borehole 208. Once again, boreholes are very deep under the ground. They only pick up what activity goes on there under the ground. Nothing on top. The next one is West Thumb. Yeah, that's really been popping uh, maybe four hours for four hours. Holmes Hill. And then Moose Creek, Idaho. All right. So, first off, we got two magnitude 2.8 earthquakes, 3.1 miles below uh, sea level, another 2.8. Let me light this up. This is the uh, Teton fault zone where this earthquake occurred, 3.1 miles in depth. Okay, another one up there along the Snake River Plateau, Stanley, Idaho. 2.8, a 5.6, uh, let's see, a 2.4, again along the Snake River Plateau, um, 5.8 miles in depth, and that's it for the last 24 hours. In the last week, we got 57 earthquakes, yeah, you can see them all here along the Snake River Plateau. And also going down here by uh, the Teton Fault Zone. All right, let me go back. The Teton Fault Zone. Okay, let's go there, right there. And I'll show you its location. These earthquakes along the Teton Fault is caused by stretching of the Earth's crust. Well, as we got Yellowstone's magma coming into the system. Yeah. Yeah. It's putting pressure on these faults. You know, look at all these earthquakes. I used to have the caldera drawn out, but um, I just have um, the recent earthquakes. <laughs> yeah, look at them all. And then the stations that I'm monitoring. This here is what the West Thumb has been showing. Been a lot of popping going on uh, probably almost the last three hours. Let me go to the first one that I see here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm off the line. Yeah, look at that. 
Um, we'll go to the seismic signature. Yeah. Yeah. This is West Thumb. This is on the uh, eastern side of Yellowstone Lake. Let me pull this over. We've got more up over here. If it's going to show me. This line is off. There we go. Oh, I was off. Yeah, look at that. Okay, yeah, very concerning. Very concerning. Um, the ground is brittle, brittle. So it's just pop, 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 pop. Like broken glass. Oh, off the line again. Yeah, it looks like it's down here, but actually it's up here. Okay, and let's see. Where's this one at? Okay. Bring it over. Well, it's probably down there. Okay. Is it down there? Hard to find it. Let's see. Where's this at? There we go. Okay. Yep. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Remember, for many of you that started following me 10, 11 years ago, there was none of this activity. This has only been recent. Within, uh, three years maybe. But it has really increased lately. Let's see, we'll bring it over. Let's see, we got more popping there. Oh, I'm off the line. Sorry. Yeah, it's hard to follow along here. Okay, bring it over. I hope I'm on the right line. Well, there, up there, you can see the line of melt. Pockets of melt. Let me see, where is this at? Here we go. Okay. So I gotta follow along right along here. There we go. <laughs> it goes up and down, up and down. The monitor keeps getting kicked out of position, doesn't it? Okay. And then right there. Yeah, let's go back to the seismic signature. Look at that. This is when it's screaming. The magma's coming in so fast that the monitor... See how it's blank in between? The monitor can't pick it up. It's just too darn loud. Okay, and then we got a line of melt. I hope I'm on the right line. More popping. More screaming. Up. Oh, okay, up over there. All right. And let's kind of have to wiggle it up and down. Find it. Yeah. Okay. More screaming there. Yeah, look at the heat. This would include um, hot gases, um, CO2, SO2, and the water. Yeah, look at that. Like I said, it's been going on for, well, it's 1,700, four, five, three hours. This has been going on for three hours. Okay. Come down. Come down. Let's see what it was showing when I pulled the files, maybe. Where is it at? Right there. Okay. When Yellowstone does decide one day, it's all up to God, uh, when it is going to go off one day. Um... Yeah, it's going to change the world. Um, yeah, it's already snowing there, and it's going to, when it does go off, it's going to decrease the world's temperatures. Yeah, and we'll have lots of snow then. Won't be able to grow food. Um, yeah, it'll contaminate the water. It'll, the ash will be on the power lines, so you'll have power outages and um that could probably be years to uh, repair 
There we go. Go back up to where this was at. Yeah, no power, no food, no water. Yeah, for a long time. All right, because this again is West Thumb. Going to Google Earth, here's the location for West Thumb. Up over here is the next station I'm going to show you. Borehole 208. And it only picks up what's under the ground. Look at this. Let's go to the seismic signature. I don't know if you can see how broken up that is. Let's extract that. Yeah. Yeah, stretching going on. Yeah. Yeah, and this is the northern end of Yellowstone Lake. Got a small quake there. Right, oh, look at that. And there's some harmonic tremors in there. Okay, look at the heat and the gases came up. That was picked up. Okay, we got another one over here that's marked in red. And we'll take a look at its seismic signature. Pop 1929. Not being reported surprise surprise so let's go there and right there so that would come in as a magnitude 1.1 okay small micro quake as they would call it um got some more small quakes here let's extract that yeah more plate movement okay we got another little one there. But you're probably noticing the ones in red. Right there. Let's go to the spectrogram. Oh my goodness. Yep. Okay, so that was at 943 Universal. That would have been at 343 a.m. this morning. And we'll just bring it across. And then we get another little, quick little pop there. And it's going to go small on me. Go back to the spectrogram. Lots of popping. Look at that. Yeah. Take a look here. All right. Yeah, look at the gases that came up. What else do we have here? Again, this is the borehole. Oh, we got thickening of the lines here. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see this if you're looking at this video on a tablet or laptop. Yeah, you can probably see this or on your um, TV. But it lasted a while. Look at that, the line amount. And like I said, this only started maybe about a year ago, but the last few months has been getting more so and more so. More and more activity. Yeah, oops, I went off the line. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, there's um, places where there's pockets of melt under the ground, only 600 feet where people walk. Yeah. And then it started settling down. Okay. Next, I'll go to Holmes Hill. We got this one. And I'll put it for both Holmes Hill and Moose Creek, Idaho. 702 Universal. So that would have been the 2.4. Yeah, Idaho, Montana, Snake River, Plateau. Yeah. Let's look at the signature. Which one has the better signature? Probably Moose Creek, Idaho. That's probably the closer monitor. Yeah, long P wave. Yeah, it was bigger than a 2.4. My goodness. Okay. How much bigger? Let's take a gander at it. Yeah, I cut the uh, timing off real short, but it comes in as a magnitude 3.11. Yeah, you can see I cut it off right here. But it actually, let me go back to the seismic signature. Um, yeah, but it was still rattling. Let me bring it up. It was still slowly rattling. Yeah. But even cutting it off there, 
Yeah, that comes in as a 3.11. Yeah. Not a magnitude 2.4. Let's go to its location. We've got the page here already opened up. Supposedly, no one said they felt it. 9.4 kilometers in depth or 5.8 miles. And I already have it marked here where it occurred. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. What I noticed about this, it looked like an area where there was irrigation going on. Can you see? Um, if I can come in a little bit closer. Yeah, see the uh, irrigation pipes? Yeah. Let me bring it out. It was right smack dab in the center. And we got some other areas where there was water. Naturally occurring water, it looks like. And then we got some power lines. Yeah. I am really surprised over here in uh, Lima that no one reported feeling it. I I'm sure they did. They just, there's been so many of them lately that they probably just didn't bother to send in a report. See all the earthquakes lately within this area? Um, it looks like the largest I have marked here would be a 3.5. Now that was um, August 20th. Um, okay, we got another one here. It was originally a 4.0 but they downgraded it for some reason to a 3.3. .3. And that was um, July? July 11th. So, yeah, they probably feel it all the time, but just, yeah, why bother? No one's going to do anything. What can you do? Well, you can be earthquake prepared. Have things bolted to the walls and, um, yeah, things like that. Have your bug out kit have a wrench to shut off gas or water lines um, if needed yeah it's a small community look how little the little city hall is reminds me of a town I used to live in when I lived in Oregon it is so small that um, the Google truck for Google Earth hasn't even bothered to go through there that's surprising they got the uh, highway here but nothing for the town all right so they moved the camera a little dirty up over here can't really tell that looks pretty dirty in there but they'd have to zoom in um it's pretty make a great picture postcard wouldn't it yeah so that's all i have for you right now yeah one day it will go what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. That would help with the ranking here. And please share my videos. Um, YouTube keeps unsubscribing people. I don't know why. They think you're little robots. So if you resubscribe, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Would they believe you're not a robot? A bot, as they call you? Thank you very much. Please be prepared for any type of disaster. Um, don't think the government's going to come and save your butts. They're not going to do it. Um, yeah, foolish to think that you will be saved. Um, the only one that's going to save yourself is you. And you have to think about your family and your children and your grandchildren, your husbands and wives. Yeah, keep prepping. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.